The ACC Next Gen upgrade is finally here and I can't wait to give it a go. We've been promised 4K visuals, 60 frames per second, 30 player online lobbies, as well as free private lobbies, uh, the M4 GT3 car as well. And yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in and let's see if we've been given exactly what we've been hoping for. I'm going to start by saying there are a few bugs. The first one was the game wouldn't even boot up for me. So as a PS4 disc owner, I was able to upgrade to the PS5 version for free, but the game wouldn't start. It kept crashing. To solve this problem, I had to delete all save data and then I was able to boot up the game. Um, I didn't, however, lose my ratings by doing this. So as you can see here, I still have all my ratings carried over from PS4, including my 99 pace rating, which I am very, very proud of. And this, this was great. It means I don't have to grind out races trying to improve my rating. Uh, they, they did all carry across. I don't really play career mode, so it wasn't a problem for me. They will be updating this uh, and creating a fix for it very, very soon. A second bug you might have noticed already is the, in the background of the menu, the intro music sometimes plays in the background, particularly when you first load up the game. Right, so let's have a quick look over at the special events then. And we can see there's one special event available. I've had a quick go at it and managed to get into the top 10 so far, uh, just with a standard aggressive setup. So we'll give that a go again in the future. Uh, only the one you can do right now, and it does require the Intercontinental GT pack. Uh, we can load up previous events, but uh, they don't have any online leaderboards because the game's just been released, so a bit of a weird one there. Now, before we jump on track, let's just have a look at the new car, the BMW M4 GT3 car, and uh, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It's got that new aggressive looking nose uh, that the, the M4 road car has, and the, uh, this looks fast, it looks fun can't wait to give this a go. This is the car we're going to be using for all of our driving when we're testing the game out today, just because it's something new and it looks incredible. Right, let's get out on track then. We're at Spa Francorchamps in Belgium and we're going to be driving the M4. So a few things to look at then. So what's the frame rate like? How is the uh, definition? What the graphics look like? And how does this car feel? So, first impressions immediately as we exit the pit lane then is that it looks <laughs> a hell of a lot better than the PS4 version did. So, already I can see a lot more detail in that car up ahead. And it's just so nice to see the, the difference in the definition of the screen compared to the, the 1080p we were stuck with with the PS4 version. So coming through the first corner then in this BMW, and it feels quite nice already. Obviously the, the tires are not really up to temperature. And yeah, looking at that car as we go past it, there's so much more detail you can see. And then coming down into the hairpin. Uh, the mirror up ahead though, the virtual mirror at the top of the screen, that is still very, very pixelated as is the in-car rear view display uh, on the right hand side there. Um, so those two things don't look like they've really been improved all that much. But the the track, looking up ahead, looking up the road, you can see so much more uh, going through the corners, looking towards the corner up ahead. You can just see where it is. You can see your brake markers from further up. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a massive improvement over the PS4 version. Now, another massive improvement on the PS4 game is that we can now adjust our field of view. So this is something that a lot of people wanted to see in this game and it is there. So what we need to do is pause the game while driving and then click on view settings and you can access the field of view adjustment. And you can see there is a lot of adjustment. We can go super low, super high. I don't know, don't really know why you want to go that low or that high, but the ability to do so is there. Same with lateral, you can move right over to the center of the car if you really want to. And you can also adjust the distance you are uh, from the front of the dashboard, uh, forwards and backwards, and then the field of view, of course. The field of view is the one that makes the biggest difference. And that all depends on how close or far away you sit to your screen and getting that just right will make a big difference to your driving as well. 
so far the game is actually performing pretty well once we get out on track so let's jump into an online lobby and see what it's like uh, we can see there there's a, a race going on at spa with 22 out of 28 possible drivers in the lobby at the moment so we'll join that one and see how many drivers we end up with by the start of the race so we've joined the lobby with just 40 seconds left of qualifying remaining 23 drivers still in the lobby so we're not going to have time to set a qualifying time so we're just going to jump into the setup and just increase the tire pressures a little bit because the default ones are a little bit low and a few other changes and you might notice another bug there and that is that we're in the m4 but in the setup options it's displaying a lamborghini hurricane so it's not game breaking but it is just another little bug that is currently in the game so onto the start grid then and we're going to be starting this race in 18th position let's see if everything goes as planned so we've got the car moving away quite nicely as we get someone on the right hand side uh, getting on the throttle a little bit early as we all get into formation but so far this seems seems like it's running pretty smoothly uh, there's 24 cars here there's no no errors no bugs no glitches so far um, from the start as i can tell actually i think there's 25 cars in this race looking at the top left hand corner so let's see if we can begin the race then and have a good start as we go through our rouge and there we go we get the green lights and we're away on acc of course <laughs> just a tiny little bit of contact will quite possibly end your race in turn one so we're just going to be nice and cautious here there's someone over in the left left hand side in the barrier already and we haven't actually gained there we're still in 18th place then as we get up the top of the hill onto the straight we're just going to move over to the right hand side for a bit of visibility and once again with all these cars on track the frame rate is staying pretty stable it's, it's very very good actually and again looking up the road you can see the cars the details in the cars further ahead that's that's one of the big differences between <laughs> someone's spins off to the right there uh, but yeah that's one of the big differences between this and the ps4 version uh, especially using exactly the same setup i've been using before on the ps5 those cars up ahead in the distance would just be very pixelated on the ps4 but on this ps5 version you can see them much more clearly and it does look so much better having that higher definition also enables you to immerse yourself more within the game so you really do feel like you're racing side by side at times and time and time again, when I was playing the PS4 version, I would often get frustrated with the pixelation, especially in the car, with the cars in the distance. So you can see we've got a number of cars ahead. Those ones just going around off the edge of the screen as we go through these turns, they would have just been very pixelated before, but you can see them so much more clearly now. It really gives you that, that will to, to try and catch them up and get involved with the race. So in terms of the force feedback, I would say it is a little bit light at the moment, especially compared to the previous game. It does feel good though, so it, it doesn't feel bad, it just feels perhaps a little bit light. They are, uh, 505 games are going to be updating force feedback very, very soon, along with a number of fixes to other bugs. I have made a video on my force feedback settings I'm using for my wheel using the Fanatec CSL Elite. I'll post a link at the top of the screen and in the description if you want to check that out and try using my settings if you're having a bit of trouble getting a good feel for the game. So having a quick look at what's going on in the race we're watching then and you can see we're in 14th place at the moment coming up behind this other BMW who <laughs> runs a little bit deep going through the fast and the left hander and there's a little bit of contact just on the exit there I'm not quite sure why that happened i think it was maybe uh, just coming back online didn't realize quite where i was but coming through the s's now then and we're catching up to canning flower in the porsche then and this is part of the track that the bmw feels very very fast through so far to me it feels like it's very good on braking a decent top speed but it suffers a little bit with acceleration 
and it's also very good through corners as well. I, I really do like the handling of this, uh, this car, although sometimes it does understeer a little bit as <laughs> we get side by side then, and we have to lift off there, but we do get that move done through the usually flat left hander. So it didn't take long before I'd caught up with this group of cars ahead. So we're in 10th place at this point. And now if you watch the distance of the cars up ahead as we come out of turn one, you can see the traction control is kicking in a little bit, but you can see we're just losing a little bit of time there. And I did feel like the that sector one was the slowest sector for this BMW and I definitely seem to gain a little bit later on in the lap. Just having a little lift through our rouge there, uh, but maybe maybe that's a bit of a setup thing and possibly a bit of confidence as well. You have to remember I've, I've not done many laps in this car so far. Uh, this is kind of my, my first attempt. So we can see uh, we've now got a Bentley up ahead for Ferrari just getting past here. As someone pulls over to the right hand side and we've got another car off on the right on the grass there so we can get another move done as well. Now we did get stuck behind this Bentley for uh, a number of laps then. So we can see we've got three minutes left in this race and we're up to 7th place at this point and he goes a little bit deep through here, gets a little bit wobbly and sideways we're going to see if we can get a bit of a switch back here and we get a very good acceleration coming through that corner so <laughs> although I said the, the BMW was a bit slow in acceleration it did seem quite good there so we get that move done on the Bentley but there's not enough time to catch up to P5 so it looks like we're going to finish in 6th place which from 18th on the grid I don't think is too bad and I've really enjoyed the race the frame rates has been frame rate has been fantastic and it's been really immersive it's been been really enjoyable the games performed well uh, unfortunately I miscalculated the fuel though so hilariously we are gonna have to stop the race with probably about 50 meters to go before crossing the line so yeah we put 49 liters of fuel in the car I believe and it looks like I should have put 50 in so uh, yeah the the bmw is a thirsty boy apparently so the first online experience for me anyway has definitely been a positive one so we're going to have a look at how to create a private lobby quickly so you have to go into server list and scroll down to create private lobby from here you can select the game mode and mess around with the custom race weekend settings and then click on create a lobby and from here it looks like you need to invite friends in order to join it's not like an open public lobby so it is indeed private and you need to have friends to invite so unfortunately i don't have anyone to invite and, and test that out so i can't say for sure uh, how well it, this game mode is working but i have been able to set it up without any issues now unfortunately there are two other bugs that i have to report the first one is a bit of an unusual one i have noticed it happen at a couple of tracks which is when you pass the entrance to the pit lane, you, as you can see here, you get a warning pit, enable pit lane limiter uh, message come up. However, so far I've only noticed that in single player game modes and not in multiplayer game modes. And the other bug that I noticed was that when I was doing the special event, if I used or if I tried to adjust the MFD, uh, it would cut the throttle power out, which was a, a, a bit strange. So just something to be aware of if you do feel like you're randomly losing your throttle just see if it's something to do with adjusting the MFD at the same time so in conclusion then the game is definitely an improvement on the ps4 version the graphics are much better the frame rate is much better and it is it's just a much more enjoyable game to drive there are however a few bugs that uh, I've shown in the video itself um, but 505 games have said that they are working on fixes for the majority of these bugs and um, especially the, the, the biggest and most important ones so um, fingers crossed that will come out very very soon and then the game will be even more playable I will be giving the competition server races a go very very soon unfortunately on the PS4 um, the CP rating was broken so you couldn't develop uh, you couldn't progress with your CP rating at all, it was just stuck at zero for everyone. So, fingers crossed they have sorted it out in this game. I will test it out. Um, I will do a number of races before making a decision to see if it's been solved or not. I, I get the feeling it won't have been, but I'll give it a go and I will make a video on it very, very soon and let you know. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very, very soon uh, if I don't see you out on track before.